Spencer, what do you think your biggest strides have been since the spring? Um, I just think getting chemistry with the guys, um, you know, obviously getting reps and just getting comfortable with everything, you know, feel great. Um, you know, gotten a lot of reps, a lot of practices under my belt, so feel good. Feel And still a lot of room to improve. Does maybe feel like your timing is a bit better than, than it is? That an accurate statement or I Everything. You know, everything feels everything feels better. You know, we continue to, to strive for perfection knowing you'll never get there, but um, just grinding out and stacking these days. The two-minute drive, you got to be happy with that, right? To get hit on the fourth down, you get them in field goal range. You got to be happy with what you did late in this practice, right? Yeah, I mean, I feel all, pra all practice, you know, we were happy with what we did. Um, but, yeah, two-minute drives are crucial, especially end of the game, two-minute drives. Um, and we were happy we can uh, convert on that one. It looks like you're getting pretty comfortable. Out of here. Where do you feel like you're at within the offense, kind of grasping, kind of everything? I feel great. You know, I feel I feel comfortable. Uh, I feel confident out there, and I think as a quarterback, you have to be. You know, um, all our guys. You know, it starts with Derek, and he does a great job. And you know, I just try to follow the lead, push him, he pushes me, and and Jake as well. So um, just love being out here and competing with our guys. And would you what did you do during the break from when you came to the training camp? What was kind of the focus for you? I was back in Arizona, uh, training with my QB coach, Mike Giovando. Um, just cleaning up fundamentals and working on little things that we, we noticed in spring ball OTAs and stuff and uh, really improved in some of those areas and then came back and got right back to work. What were those areas? What did you notice in those areas that you needed to clean up? Oh, just very small things, you know, footwork wise, you know, false steps, little punch steps in your drive, not getting too much depth, you know, maintaining that circle in the pocket, not hitching too much. Just little, little minute things that can add up, though, you know, to negative plays and, and can add up in a. You know, you got to control that and avoid that. That attention to details, a young guy, like where, where does where does that come from? Since I was a kid, you know, um, just always wanted to be the best, you know, in whatever I do. So um, always just focusing on how can I make myself better, how can I get better, and I think that's that's how you got to be. Have you been in an offense that does the things that this offense is doing? And how would you describe this offense, you know, from your perspective? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was lucky to uh, have a system like this at South Carolina. Um, obviously not to the level of this, you know, what Clint is doing is amazing. As you guys know, his resume is great. And, uh, but you know, a lot of the verbiage is the same, a lot of motion, stuff like that. But, you know, this is just a level up, obviously a lot more volume of things. And, um, you know, it's, we get great looks on every play, I feel like, and we have answers. So, uh, once you get it under your belt, you know, I don't have everything under my belt, but I feel great. Um, you can get rolling. When you say, uh, what Clint is doing is amazing. Like, what part of what he's doing strikes you? What, like, what do you see that amazes you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he just he knows how to, you know, play play to the guy's strengths. You know, we got a lot of playmakers, a lot of guys that can go out, get the ball in their hand, and do something serious with it. Um, you know, we got good quarterbacks, um, running backs, tight ends. I mean, he knows how to get guys open, scheme stuff up, and does a great job. Do you, do you enjoy how much this offense kind of puts you on the move, on the bootlegs? And Love it. It's the fa that's my, one of my favorite parts. You know, if you can get out of that pocket, get on the move, um, I think that's super beneficial. What, what, I mean, what is beneficial about it? You just got more options. You can tuck in a run. You got a flat. You got a three, usually three levels. Um, and then you always got a chance to run it yourself. What, what, what was your official ruling on whether you got that pass off today on the defense? Oh, I for sure got it off. <laughs> <laughs> I for sure got it off. <laughs> could you take us through the throw, though? What did you see, and how did you kind of find your way back there? Yeah, um, it was a play-action pass. Um, just trying to hit a little little deep slant, a little drift route. Um, they fell under, got some pressure, kind of faded to my right, went to my second and third read, and Cedric was wide, wide open. Uh, shout out to Tipton for clearing it out, and it was a big play, big touchdown. Is that something you feel like you're processing a lot faster now, just going through your reads? And um, you could say so. You know, uh, I feel you know, I feel good getting through my progressions, getting getting to your third and fourth read. But you know, I'm a rookie. I haven't played in a live game yet. Obviously, you want to try to get that ball out on your first or second read. But if you need to get back to three, four, sometimes five, you have to. Seems How like do you get a lot of trust that? in uh, Jacobson, just from the team reps we see. What, what do you like about his game? Mm -hmm. You know, we had we had a uh, a good week this week. You know, he had a good week. I feel like uh, last week, the week before, I missed him on a few, you know, sailed one or two, uh, you know, missed him low on one. But this week, we connected well in seven ons and team in, in crucial moments. So you know, he's just a big target, smart guy, knows where to be, and, you know, plays fast. Does his basketball background help him out, do you think? I think if you were a multi sport athlete, I played basketball as well. It helps with everything, you know, especially in this game. How do you decide when, when to run? Um, uh, Obviously, you want to show up your decision making even more, even though you know you probably could get more throws off if you don't. Like, what, what's the decision process there? I mean, in today's game, you have to be able to run. You know, um, 
the defenses are good. They can cover up a lot of stuff. That pocket shuts down. I'm not trying to be in there too long. You know, I got a, I got a clock in my head. When I see daylight, I'm going to go. I'll take the fine. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. You know, excited to go back home. Excited, you know, got a lot of people coming out, so it should be fun. How many people do you know yet? A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. It's going to be a good time. Have you played there since high school? Uh, no. This will be my first time going back since high school. Yep. Oh, just in terms of the competition, Jake, when you guys rotate, like, one day you're with the twos, the other day with the threes, like, do you, how do you kind of compartmentalize that to say, all right, like, I don't have to show out with the twos today, I just have to keep doing everything I'm doing, or do you see, like, all right, today I'm with the twos, I have to make an impression? How do you kind of approach it? I try to show out every day, you know, play my best ball every single day, twos, threes, doesn't matter to me. I try to play my, my best ball, cleanest ball, get the ball to the playmakers, make some throws. How uh, does it feel like a cheat code when you get reps with Alave out there? <laughs> Dude, it's different. I, I, I make it a, a key point when he's in, get him the ball. It's that simple. Yeah. Thanks, right, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys.